After a two-year break, the Mo Ilili Summerfest is back this weekend. Tomorrow night, the former Varsity Theater parking lot will transform for a night of celebration. Here's Kamaka Pili. I'm loving the fact that things are slowly starting to make its return since the pandemic. And next on the list comes tomorrow for Aloha Saturday, the Mo Ili Ili Fest right here at the old Varsity Theater parking lot. I'm already dressed out and duped out in my hoppy. Just learned that. This is my first time ever learning about a bond dance and the obon season. To find out more about the Mo Ili Ili Fest, we're here with the artistic director of the Taiko Center of the Pacific, Mr. Kenny Endo. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Kamaka. Tell us a little bit about the Mo Ili Ili Fest and uh, what it really, what people can expect, and really the role that it plays within the community. Okay, uh, Obon festivals are usually uh, associated with a temple, and right here we have the Moili Honganji Temple, and their, their Obon tradition goes back over a hundred years. Um, but all over the islands, we have the Obon tradition. We have two musical and dancing traditions that provide live music: Fukushima Ondo and Iwakuni Ondo, that have. Uh, survived from Japan and are still played. So we're really lucky in Hawaii to have this tradition still going. What is the whole point of a Bon Dancer or the Obon Festival? Well, the Obon, simply put, is a festival honoring your ancestors. So um, you're honoring your ancestors from way back or even recently passed on um, relatives. And it's a way of celebrating the cycles of life. So it's not necessarily a sad event, but a celebration. So tell us a little bit about the role you play. You've been a taiko drummer for 45 years or more. What significance does taiko drumming play within this festival? Well, just in general, in Japanese culture, the sound of the taiko is supposed to be bringing good luck and driving away evil spirits. So my group's going to be doing a performance at 6 p.m. separate from the dances, just a taiko performance. And we don't often get that chance to perform at Obon Festival, so it's a real honor for us. Could you share with me a little bit of how to play the taiko drum? Sure. Awesome. I'd like to teach you two. Uh, universal bon odori patterns, and I'll say them and play them, and then you can join me. Sure. It goes like this: don 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 kara ka ka don don su don don kara ka ka don and don and. Don, 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 got ready, play, don, and don, don, got a cock, don, don, suit, don, don, got a cock, don, and don, and don, got a cock, don, don, suit, don, one more time, hey, don, hook, don, and don, got a cock, don, don, suit, don, don, got a cock, all right. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kenny. That was really cool. Oh, that's cool. I love to dance and all this musical stuff, so sorry, I don't want to dork out too much. But this is the return of the Mo Ili Ili Fest right here at the old Varsity Theater. This is tomorrow, Saturday, from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m., and there are multiple parking options, including up at UH at the Stan Sheriff, where Trolley is provided. For all that information, be sure to visit our website, k2n2.com. Kamaka Pili with K2N2 News, working for Hawaii.